Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development for Jacob Motorhomes. I'm excited to show you today something brand new for us. It is the Seneca XT, but the floor plan is the 29T. Uh, first, I want to talk about what makes the Seneca XT the Seneca XT, and then I will get into this amazing floor plan for you. First of all, the Seneca XT is built on either the F550 or F600 chassis. Uh, we build on both chassis depending on the floor plan. Uh, this 29T is a special floor plan. It is unique in the sense that we uh, standard build will be a F550 chassis, but if you desire an F600, we can option that as well. Uh, that will be an upcharge, obviously, just for the higher price of the chassis. But it's an incredible chassis. It's the XLT uh, edition of this F600. It is a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine and it is four-wheel drive. So it's capable of off-roading, capable of the two-track at BLM land or even uh, sandy areas at the beach. We're doing some incredible things to this chassis that nobody else is doing. We wanted to really highlight and accentuate the 4x4 capabilities of this chassis. So we've upfit the suspension in such a way to be able to do that. First of all, uh, we've added a two-inch radius arm suspension lift from BDS. Uh, just to get us a little more clearance in the front and then two inch lift in the rear as well so making sure we have plenty of ground clearance also on this chassis we are removing ford's front and rear stabilizer bar and we're adding heavy duty stabilizer bars just to make sure that uh, we eliminate as much left or right rocking as possible as you're going on those uneven surfaces also on this chassis we've removed the ford uh, oe shocks and we've installed coney fsd shocks FSD stands for Frequency Selective Dampening. Uh, the shocks are incredible. They provide both comfort and stability for you as you're going down the road on the highway and hit that big pothole, or potentially uh, you're doing a clover leaf and uh, you start to get a little bit of a potential for body roll. It gives you support on that uh, side that you need so you're not uh, getting that body roll. Also on this chassis, we are adding Hellwig helper springs on the rear of the coach. So. Uh, this is going to help with your towing capacity as far as uh, your tongue capacity. So you're not getting squatty in the rear if you do utilize uh, that hitch weight, uh, vertical tongue weight uh, that is allowed by that hitch. But then also it does help eliminate a little bit left or right rocking as well. So why have we done all that? We've done that to give you the quietest riding, best handling coach at this price point and really in this uh, category of motorhome. Why give you a four-wheel drive chassis if it's not capable uh, to the fullest extent. So we've just accentuated that for you as the customer. Also, we've made standard on this uh, all-terrain tires. Uh, those are aftermarket and then also your matte black wheels uh, on this as well. We wanted to make sure that uh, just the overall look was rugged. So if you come around to the front of this coach, we have added an aftermarket bumper on this. Uh, it does have the, the bull bar, brush guard, whatever you call it in your neck of the woods. Also, it has an integrated winch cradle in it, so it is winch ready. If you do desire to put a winch on here, uh, you will notice that we do have some auxiliary lighting in this front bumper on the front cap as well, uh, making sure that if you are in those remote places and you are utilizing the 4x4 capabilities of this chassis, that you have plenty of light to see where you're going uh, if it's dusk or later or before dawn. Uh, so you do have the Ford floodlights in here. Uh, you do have... Um, excuse me, Ford fog lights, our floodlights, and then our spotlights as well. Each one of these lights are on auxiliary switches in the inside of the coach. Uh, so as a result, um, you don't have to, it's not all on or all off. You can uh, individualize which lights you do want on. On the rear of the coach, we also have rear floodlights as well. So if you are backing into that campsite late at night or you are uh, in those remote places, you need to see what's behind you as you're backing up just flip those floodlights on and you will be able to see. So uh, that is a feature that we knew that uh, you guys would appreciate. So we went ahead and added that on every XT that we are building. You'll notice our one piece fiberglass front cap. That is really a hallmark feature of Jayco. Uh, we don't have any seams on this in the same way we don't have any seams on our Red Hawk SE. Doesn't matter the price point at Jayco, we want to protect your investment. So. Uh, this front cap is special. It's unique for Jayco. Uh, it is one piece, as you can see. Some competitors will say they have a one piece fiberglass front cap, but really it's just the front uh, maybe quarter or front fifth 
tapers up and this horizontal steam, seam is still exposed, we've covered that seam because we know that that's a potential leak point in any Class C. So uh, that front cap, uh, this is a squattier cab than what the E450 is. And so as a result, uh, we wanted to make our uh, overhead cap a lot more aerodynamic. So we did taper it uh, in every direction to make it more aerodynamic, make it look less clunky for you as you're driving down the road also greater visibility as you're sitting in there looking forward. So want to point that out to you. That front overhead bunk does have a weight rating of 750 pounds. As we come back to coach, you will notice that we do have our road armor side steps. Uh, there is some uh, aggressive uh, tread on that so that as I'm getting in, I can either uh, knock the dirt off my feet or if it happens to be rainy or wet, it prevents you from slipping and, uh, and banging your shin. We've all banged our shin on a hitch. Uh, we've all banged our shins on running boards, so we want to make sure that there's no shin banging on this coach. Uh, coming back, you will see our, our standard 2 plus 3 warranty, twice the industry standard. Everybody else has a one-year limited warranty. Ours is two-year. Don't be fooled by a bigger number than ours on the side of the coach. Uh, you don't be fooled by a 7. Don't be fooled by a 19. You'll never see a 19. Nobody's done that. I just don't want to highlight who's doing what. Uh, but that two-year really is what you want to look for. Everybody else in the industry is just a one-year warranty. Anybody could offer a two, but they don't. We're the only ones that do, and we're confident in our build quality that we do things right, so we will give you that two-year limited warranty uh, plus the three-year structural. What's it limited by? It's limited by 24,000 miles and also just uh, negligence or neglect. So I want to point that out to you. Uh, we do have a full-length awning on this, on this unit. Um, all of our XTs will have a legless awning that does have the motion slash wind sensor in it. So that will auto retract if the conditions outside start to get a little, little violent. But I will encourage you, if you are going out uh, scuba diving, you're out, going out kayaking or mountain biking, whatever you're doing, make sure you just put that in. That's just uh, security on your part that you can do, kind of added insurance policy. Uh, because in reality, if strong gusts are coming through, this may not retract fast enough before you experience awning damage. So I always like to point that out to you. Uh, you will notice that uh, on this coach, we do have a 32 inch exterior TV. All of our other XT floor plants have a uh, 40 inch exterior. Because of this, uh, the way this is designed, this floor plan, we had to do a 32. So I wanted to point that out, but uh, standard on every XT is gonna be your exterior television slash entertainment center. All of our XTs, you will also have um, not rotocast compartments, but you will have uh, this diamond tread lined uh, compartment in all of our baggage areas. And then in select baggage compartments, you will have a complete pass through because we are building up off of the frame rail since you are able to slide that four foot uh, white table in there or fishing poles or fill in the blank with whatever you want. Standard on every XT, you'll also find a full fiberglass roof. Standard on every XT, 200 watts of solar, that is expandable. Standard on every XT, Starlink, that's new for model year 2024. Starlink is absolutely incredible. If you are in those remote places where you don't have any cell service, Starlink will give you that internet connection. So you are able to do your remote business while on the road. You are able to uh, find the best trails as you're in those remote places. You are able to find out uh, the walking distance to wherever you need to walk to. Uh, so Starlink is great. Uh, definitely take advantage of that on these XTs. On this unit as well, you're always going to find a full rear fiberglass cap, except for on this floor plan. On this floor plan, you will have a rear fiberglass wall. Let's go back there and I can show that to you. Um, we've uh, made it aesthetically good looking as possible, uh, but this floor plan is unique for us. So like I said, on our other floor plans, you will have a full fiberglass rear wall. On this one, we don't and here's the reason why uh, because on this floor plan we do have a complete pass through on the rear here so uh, storage this is not lacking storage if you want to take a kayak you can put a kayak in here if you want to take a fishing pole you can take fishing poles snowboards fill in the blank this is for that off-road adventure seeking person if you fit that category this floor plan might be for you so I want to point that out because this is absolutely incredible in a coach this size. Bumper to bumper, we're right at 30 feet. So this is a short guy. 
Uh, you'll notice that ladder in there. <laughs> we stuck it in there so we didn't want, so we wouldn't forget to talk about it. Uh, there's no rear ladder as you'll see on this coach. Why is that? Because we wanted to accentuate the inside windows as much as possible. That ladder is a collapsible, will clap, uh, it will connect up top. It also gives you a nice angle. If you've ever climbed an RV ladder, you'll know that they are very vertical and they are very shaky and they're kind of difficult to get up. And if you're afraid of heights, uh, once you get to that top, it is a scary thing going from the roof to the ladder. Uh, these collapsible ladders, you are able to put them at an angle. And so as a result, um, takes a little bit of the fear out of it. So I wanted to point that out to you. Uh, but that is the exterior of the coach. Let's go inside the coach. I want to talk about some of the features and benefits inside there. All right, so we're inside the coach now. And some things I want to highlight for you is really the power system of this coach. This coach runs off of a 6,000 watt diesel generator. So it's plumbed to your chassis. This coach has two fuel tanks, a, a front and a rear. And on your uh, driver's side, about halfway back your coach, there is two fill ports uh, for, you, for your diesel fuel. Once we're inside the coach, some things you're going to notice is this 15K air conditioner with a heat pump. I cannot oversell to you the benefits of this heat pump. The great thing about it is this coach is equipped with a 30,000 BTU furnace. At the same time, you're running off of propane. Propane is a limited fuel source. With this coach and with this air conditioner or the heat pump, I can be running my generator or plugged into shore power. And on those cool fall mornings or, or cooler spring days, I can turn on the heat pump and that'll keep the inside of the coach uh, fairly warm. So your, your furnace is not having to work extra hard. In the rear of the coach, there is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner uh, to keep you cool in the back as well. Uh, this coach is equipped with a 10 gallon gas electric hot water heater. It can run off of gas or electric or both. The great thing if you're running off of both is it can replenish itself approximately three times in an hour. So you're looking at about 30 gallons of uh, hot water in an hour. And if you're camping, that's an excessive amount. All that to say is you're going to have plenty of hot water for this coach. So now to focus specifically on this XT and the front end of what you're going to find in every one of our XTs, you will find our front bunk, as mentioned, rated at 750 pounds. This is a very large area. Will it ever hold 750 pounds? Will 750 pounds of people ever be up there? Probably not. But at the same time, this is just one of the things that allows us to do that two plus three warranty is our engineering. Uh, we engineer this for that 750 pounds. Uh, and within the industry or class C's, the average is 425 pounds. So we have engineered this uh, to be able to withstand whatever you're going to throw up here. Also, the great thing about that 750 pounds is we do add a safety net up here. And, uh, and it will lit, it will hook there, hook down here. And so you could put boxes up there if you choose to. Just make sure they're not going to slide around. Uh, you could use this as a storage area going down the road. But don't exceed that 750 pounds. Great thing about this chassis is it's a very familiar chassis. As I mentioned, this is the F550 and 600 chassis. If you drive a truck, it's going to feel like your truck at home. If you drive a car, it's going to feel very similar to your car at home. It is very comfortable, plenty of leg room. It does have the Ford sink in the dash. And so with that, you're gonna be able to do your uh, Sirius XM, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, we have recovered the seats. These are super comfortable seats. And also what you'll notice is the center console. Uh, something I do wanna point out to you, it's, it's really a struggle every manufacturer has, every RV manufacturer has, is um, going from the cab area to the living area can be a little bit difficult, just being honest with you. As I mentioned on the outside of the coach, the cab is squattier compared to an E450. So an E450, very easy to stand up, come back into your living area. We wanted to make this a little bit easier on you, even though it still is a little bit difficult. So we've given you a, a very large cutout uh, in this front overhead bunk area so that as you get up, turn around, it will be a little bit easier for you. So just wanted to have full transparency with you, full honesty with you, uh, that some people do find that a little bit difficult. Uh, so they will potentially be using this entry door more than passing through this area. Totally your call, hop in the driver's seat and just experience it for yourself to see if you like it or not. Great thing about this coach is our screen doors. It sounds pretty crazy. Are you tired of those screen doors that if you want to close your blinds, you've got to open the door, you've got to op uh, close the screen door, and then shut your blind. Our screen doors have a blind integrated into them. 
And that's awesome, isn't it? Because if you've ever camped with one that doesn't have this, you know how much of a pain it's going to be. And so I want to point that out to you because even though it seems kind of trivial, it's a great feature on this coach that I know I'm taking advantage of when I take this thing out camping. So uh, this has been the front end of the coach. Here's the exciting part. We're about to turn around and I'm going to show you the 29T floor plan for the first time in this video. And surprise, here we are. This is the 29T floor plan for the first time on our website. Now, if you've watched YouTube, you've probably seen me in a different video, but this is the official one, all right? So discount the other ones. We've got an official video here today. I love this floor plan. What I absolutely love about it is there are zero slides on this. As mentioned, 30 feet long, no slides. And it's amazing how wide this hallway is. I'm, I'm in between the kitchen and my coat rack area. Uh, in the front there, I've got my refrigerator. I can easily go uh, from my cooktop over to my refrigerator. I can go from my cooktop over to my cabinet area so that I can get my lagoon tables and, and put them back in, in the lounge area for a dining scenario. I've got my uh, convection microwave. I've got everything I need in this small coach. And as we're developing this floor plan, the crazy thing is, is that a lot of us thought it seemed like a good idea and on paper it looked like a good idea. But the big question is, is once you get the ceiling and the walls on, is it going to feel claustrophobic? And I can tell you, this doesn't feel claustrophobic. Wide open uh, hallway, as I mentioned, a lot of storage in such a small floor plan. Uh, we intentionally raise the cabinets up. Uh, these are going to be standard height uh, countertops just to give you that open feel coming back. I'm not going to open this because uh, you'll see our uh, our uh, booth outside, the warehouse outside. But uh, we do have a full length uh, kitchen window here. So as you're cooking, as you're doing dishes, you can look out and be a part of the action outside. Moving back, uh, as I mentioned, you've got the full uh, full wall of coat racks here. And then back in the living area. This is very intentional. As you come back here, you're going to notice that we've got uh, windows all the way around. So windows on three sides here. I, just imagine yourself. If you're going out for the day mountain biking and you have your Starlink hooked up, you're in here on your laptop, you are Googling or safariing or whatever uh, platform you're using as far as what trails you're going to be hitting. You can be back here drinking your coffee. Uh, there's no knee knockers as far as the table goes. You can watch the sunrise on, on either side of you or even behind you. And this is an incredible area just for lounging. Or at the end of the day, after you've uh, been out fishing, salmon fishing out in the river, fly fishing, throwing the blank with whatever you've done, you're sitting in here, you're relaxing, uh, having an evening drink, your, your soda, your, your uh, uh, filling the blank with whatever you do, and uh, just relaxing and talking about the day. This uh, has uh, two lagoon table mounts. Uh, so for you to be able to sit on both sides if you'd like to, uh, with two lagoon tables as well. You could have four people back here uh, using and utilizing those lagoon tables if you'd like to, but really you could comfortably see probably five back here, uh, depending on the size of folks. Uh, but this is not only a lounge area where you're able to see everything uh, with your day-night roller shades, but also this can become a very large bed for you if you'd like. As mentioned, we have a very large uh, front bunk on this that does have a bunk ladder rated at 750 pounds the bed is and so a lot of room up there uh, but maybe you just want to sleep back here or maybe there's two people sleeping maybe two brothers are going out hunting for the weekend and one's up front and one's in back great thing about this floor plan as mentioned is this converts into just a massive bed area and so i've got a switch on either side all i have to do is uh, push the button in the down and it will start to go down as noticed It'll come out. Once it clears the wall, it'll fully go flat. And so I can do that on both sides, fully flat. And then just a very large area back here. Wake up in the morning. Super easy to put it back up. It's just push the up button and it'll do its thing. You've got plenty of charging space back here. You've got a wireless charger on this side. You've got a 120 volt outlet there, 120 volt outlet on this side. And so just a wonderful lounge area for you to be able to just relax and tell stories of your adventures. As mentioned, we've got a lot of storage in here. Uh, we do have uh, large, deep drawers. That's one thing that I noticed as I pulled that out. I wasn't going to say large, deep drawers. I was just going to say we have drawers. Those are large and deep. Uh, same story on this one. Uh, we've got uh, slide out drawers on, on uh, this side. A lot of storage. And then 
The question is, is where's my wardrobe? Where am I going to put my clothes? We've got a wardrobe on this side. On this side, uh, we've got a smaller wardrobe, and this is intentional because you're probably not going to be bringing three-piece suits in this unit. I doubt you're going to be uh, doing a lot of uh, public speaking where you need those suits, or you're going to be um, utilizing it to preach your next sermon at church. I don't know, but we've given you the storage area if you'd like it. So a nice wardrobe for this size of a coach, uh, plenty of hanging space, and then down below, uh, we've got our drawers as well, full bank of drawers. Uh, so a lot of a lot of space to sit, a lot of place for storage. And how about that television? That is a 50 inch television. And this does come out on an angle. So I can be sitting uh, anywhere from approximately this area on over and I can see this 50 inch television. And there again, I know some of you purists, I've just been mountain biking, I've just been doing whatever. I'm not gonna watch television. I'm not gonna watch Netflix. But what about hooking your GoPro up to this and watching the adventure you just did earlier in the day on this television and just reliving it and having a good laugh and having memories. So this television, utilize it. There again, it's all on eBay if you don't want it. We think you'll use it for your GoPro or for who knows what. So a large television for you for all of your viewing. And then the bathroom, a very large bathroom for a no slide unit. This is comparable to our 32U floor plan, the size of the bathroom in there. You do have uh, your black drawer poles and accent pieces, uh, por uh, porcelain foot flush toilet, glass shower door, overhead skylight in that shower. So somebody like myself, 6'2 and a half, 6'3, I'm not having to duck my head. I've got plenty of room in that shower as well as your bathroom exhaust fan, large medicine cabinet, plenty of storage. And I keep referencing storage because I'm amazed at a 30 foot unit, no slides, how much storage is in this. So uh, this has been just an incredible unit for us. Folks have walked in. We just got uh, back from the Tampa show. As I mentioned, we released it at Hershey and uh, we've sold a number of these simply because we are the only manufacturer, major manufacturer in the industry building a floor plan similar to this. So uh, this has been the inside. Absolutely incredible. We've fallen in love with it and we think you will too. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton and I am the Director of Product Development for Jacob Motorhomes. I want to thank you for watching this video today. As mentioned, this is the 2024 Seneca XT 29T floor plan, and I hope you loved it. This is brand new for us. We released it a few months ago at Hershey, uh, the Hershey Show, and then also we've been in full production for a couple months now. It's on dealer's lots today. Go to your local dealer, ask if you can see it, walk through it, see if it's a good fit for you or not. If you have any questions, uh, definitely contact your local dealer. If you don't know who your local dealer is, go to our website, and uh, we have a dealer finder on that. You can... Uh, it'll show you who's closest to you in your state. If you have more technical questions, always feel free to call us here at the factory. Uh, tell us the state that you're from or province you're from. And you'll be connected to our local, uh, local for us, regional sales manager who's responsible for the, uh, the state or province that you live in. They'll answer any technical question you have. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton. I want to thank you for watching this video. And hopefully you've fallen in love with this floor plan enough that you're going to go to your dealer and you're going to say, what's it going to take for me to buy this?